Hey guys, welcome back. I have another little Jackson's haul to share with you. Um, this is a couple of months worth of um, little shipments that I've been getting from Jackson's. They had a couple of irresistible sales over the last couple of months. <laughs> they had my Roman Schmal paints on sale, so I had to get a couple more of those. And they also had a sale on um, Faber-Castell, uh, all of the product lines in uh, Faber-Castell. So, yeah, so I just have a couple of little things to open and share with you guys, and then we'll do some swatching. Okay, so let's open this first one here. So let's, I'll just push this box back. Okay, so what is this one? So this is the Roman Schmal paints. Okay, so I'll just get rid of these guys. All right, so the colors I got are Mars Black. Um, I already have a couple of different blacks, uh, but I wanted to see how this one uh, granulated because I really, I love the Luna Black um, that I've been using a lot. And so I wanted to see how this Mars Black differed from that. Um, and I think it's fairly granulating. So I'm interested to see about that. Um, I got a brown ochre. Which looks beautiful. I got the tint. Um, Aquarius gray. So this kind of looks sort of like a brownish gray. Uh, Misty morning. So I believe this is kind of like a purpley blue color. And then the chromium green oxide. So now I have a lot of Roman Schmal colors, um, which I'm excited about. I really love their paints. They, I feel like they flow really well. They're just really nice. They re-wet amazingly well because of the, I think they have honey and glycerin in it. Um, they're just a really beautiful brand. I love the quality and I love the pigment low that they have. Um, I haven't really been disappointed with any of their colors so far, so super exciting. And then what is, oh, and this is a little tiny sharpener because I've been collecting more uh, watercolor pencils. So um, I don't think my Caran d'Ache Neocolor 2s will fit in here, but, um, but yeah, I wanted a nice sort of sharpener that was gonna perform well and not just eat my pencils. And I think I saw this on Aliona's channel. Um, I'll put a link to her channel below. Yeah. Okay, let's put this to the side and get out our next box. Okay, so this one, I think this should be the Neo Colors. Yes, so I got a couple more Neo Color 2. Um, I don't have any Neo Color 1, I only have Neo Color 2. Um, I really like the texture of these crayons. I tend to use them mostly dry, but the application is so smooth and creamy um, and just having that flexibility to be able to wet them if I want to use it as a watercolor pencil or crayon. Um, it's just nice to have that flexibility in there for different designs. But overall, I just love them using them as a crayon to pick up the texture on watercolor paper. Um, just really lovely. So what, what colors do we have here? Oh, we have finally I got the Payne's Gray. I've been meaning to get that for a while. And we have the Olive Brown which is a deep green olive color. We have the beige, which actually looks like a gray, so I'm super interested to see what that looks like. I think I saw uh, maybe Natasha Newton swatching this one and it was really intriguing. So um, yeah, I wanna try that out and see what that's like. Um, I have the dark green, which is sort of like a bluish foresty green. Um, the Burnt Sienna, this label's a little different. Is it still the near color too? Yeah. So this is a either an old label or a newer label, but it doesn't it has a tiny logo. That's really weird. Um, yeah, so that's the burnt sienna, which I'm hoping has kind of a pinkish tone. I like burnt siennas that have a bit more of a red undertone. Um, the charcoal grey, which is just a nice deep grey. And I got the white. I like to sort of put white over painting to sort of bring out some highlights. Okay, so that's the near colors. Okay, what 
what's next uh, yes so I got a little journal um, I really like this size journals for I tend to do um, little emotion journals so you know at the end of a day or in the middle of the day if I'm feeling kind of intense emotions instead of writing a diary I tend to just do a little sketch um, let me show you my other so this is my other little one that I have and I'll just sort of experiment with whatever paints are in front of me and um, just sort of work through some emotions just to get it down on paper and they turn out being really interesting little studies I'm not thinking of anything other than the way that I'm feeling and trying to translate that with paint um, so I love these little tiny diaries just for that just to um, experiment and just to get something off my chest without any pressure this one's filling up so I wanted to get another one uh, just so I had them on hand hey guys this is editing Jana jumping in I realized that I didn't even unwrap this or tell any details about it so I'm just shooting a little bit of footage now about it it is the C white travel journal it is in a6 size um, it has 60 pages which I believe is 30 pages but you can draw on both sides 200 GSM which is a little lighter weight than I normally use but um, I'm interested to see how, how that holds up it's a not finished watercolor paper which means it's a cold press with a bit of texture and they're slightly off-white the pages um, and there's definitely a little bit of texture just very subtle on both sides and very similar texture on both sides um, it has this cute little pocket at the back that kind of expands out which is lovely um, very sturdy cover and a little elastic band which I always love kind of keeps it um, if you're using wet media it kind of squishes it down after you've painted so that's kind of cool um, I think that's it okay back to the normal programming okay what's next so I think we have a bundle of Maybe these are the Feber Castell. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, and some Molotov, which I forgot that I bought. So let's have a look at that first. So this one, um, I don't ha own any of the Molotov, and I've seen a whole bunch of YouTubers reviewing them. Um, so I think it was like Crixus and Natasha Newton had really enjoyed them. So I wanted to get on the bandwagon and just see what it's all about. So I just got the white and a... I don't know where the <laughs> label is for the color. Um, oh, I'm sorry, it's up here. And this is a this is a new nature white. See, and this one actually, I believe, has two different ends. So I think this is like a four millimeter and a maybe it's just a two millimeter. Um, yeah, so sort of a finer tip here. I don't know if that's showing. And then this end is the more of a bullet tip. That's a little pointier. Yeah, so I'll be excited to try that out. I haven't primed it yet, so we will try those out and see the coverage. And then we have some Faber-Castell Pit Artist pens. So these are amazing. I have um, a couple of the gray ones. So I bought a, a pack that had three warm grays and three cool grays. So I wanted to get a couple more and I wanted to get the actual really light ends of the gray because they didn't have, it started at uh, like level three, I think. So this is just the lightest warm gray and the lightest cold gray. And I think, yeah, I'll, I'll show the other ones and swatch them next to those when we do the swatching. But um, I felt like I, when I was out sketching, I needed an even lighter version of these colors. So the pack of grays sort of went from medium gray to dark gray so I really wanted to get the light ones to try those out. And then we have a nougat which just sounded really yummy. Um, so this I think is sort of like a mid brown. We have a beige red which just looked interesting. Yeah and these are um, quite a fine sort of brush pen so you can get some really fine details the end is not terribly flexible so it's less flexible than like a paintbrush so you can get some really good um, details in because it doesn't sort of bend too much so I, I just really like them for that 
we have what's this one a dark indigo so this is a nice deep rich blue so I want to see what that looks like and the last one is an earth green um, just because earth green is just beautiful so I'm hoping that that will be uh, fun to try to and then I got two unipin fine lines I got a brush version and I got a 0.5 so um, this is just another waterproof uh, sketching pen um, I like I really have been liking using my fountain pen for now I've been using the platinum preppy but uh, I like to have these on hand too just for detailing and stuff so um, and this one's a brush so yeah so not very flexible at all but we will have a look at that later I'm just going to push these to the side a little bit and let's open this one here so I think this may be some Albrecht Dura, Albrecht Dura watercolor pencils yeah okay so I got a lot of greens because I've been doing a lot more nature study lately so I like having those greens on hand and I have one aqua monolith so this is in creator color aqua monolith it's a water soluble pencil and the whole thing is just lead there's no wood so it's a woodless watercolor pencil and I just wanted to try that in ivory so it looks like a very yellow ivory so it'd be interesting to see how that is um, this one here yeah the Albic Dura so we have a Naples yellow which looks kind of a greenish yellow so that'll be interesting and then this beautiful vibrant cobalt green a dark indigo a very vibrant light green sort of a yellowy green this is a juniper green isn't that such a lovely name just sort of a subtle calming green there uh, we have the earth green so I have the earth green in this pit artist brush too so we can look at those and see how similar they are um, this one is the permanent green olive which looks you know just like a dark green it doesn't look terribly yellowy olive to me but we'll see and then this is just a brown this is walnut brown yay so that's all my Faber-Castell and then I have some other things in here. Did I get these? Oh, yes, I think I got this kneadable eraser. I don't have a kneadable eraser and I see a lot of watercolorists using that to draw their plan in and then sort of um, knead it off so it's a lot much lighter rather than erasing the whole thing. So I really wanted to try that out. And I actually got a couple of things from Blick too. And that was the um, Lyra kneadable eraser. So I just wanted to compare these guys and see you know how different they are and which one I prefer um, this is quite expensive on Amazon but I think it was under two dollars on Blick so that was interesting I had it on my wish list on Amazon but it went up to like 650 or something which seemed crazy so um, yeah I just wanted to try those two out and see which one I liked best and then I got a couple of Colorays uh, pencils so I got the um, Copy Not NP Blue so that's supposed to I think when you photocopy or something or fax or take a photo it doesn't show I'm not 100% sure that's correct but <laughs> there's something about that and I got a scarlet red too just for sketching and these are color arrays so you can apparently erase them I don't think they come off completely but um, yeah I'm interested to find out how they perform um, I normally just draw in watercolor pencil or just normal pencil like graphite if I'm doing a sketch to paint over but we shall see um, and I already tried to take the labels off these Ugh, I hate these little barcode labels they're so sticky but I'm glad they're not down here where I'm actually holding it um, so it's okay up here it just looks a little ugly but yeah so I'm excited to try those out too all right so I think that does it for the Jackson's haul I think I'm going to split this video into two and do the swatching in a separate video because there's quite a lot of materials here um, and it will make it really long so thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next video with all the swatching okay bye